Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. We, the folks in authority, have heard your 99 ideas that are pro-freedom and your one idea that isn't. And after careful consideration, we've decided to act on the one that isn't. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've heard this concept, liberty minus one. Well, that's my way of putting it. That's why, even though I'm a bit of a big tenter, I still think most libertarian light people tend to be doing more harm than good. That's because their pro-liberty positions are going to probably be ignored, while their pro-government positions are going to be listened to by the government. I'm not sure about this. And it also depends to some extent on whether, like, it, are people more passionate about their pro-government ideas than their anti-government ideas? For instance, the average person who is, uh, has a, you know, uh, he, he's 50% he's, he's pro-freedom. So he's got a pro-freedom position on 50% of things, and he's got an authoritarian position on 50% of things. Well, does the average version of that person spend more time and effectiveness pushing for the pro-freedom things or the anti-freedom things? I don't know. This would be something that it would be neat or interesting to have a poll or study done on. But the important thing you can do about this is look at yourself, as I once had to do, and ask yourself, is there any position that I'm holding here in relation to government that is a, 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 a pro-act of aggression position? Oh, no, of course not, because that's what everybody says at first. But really, stop and think about it. Do you favor border controls? Because those terrible illegals who want to come here and do nice things, in most cases, are initiating the force by coming here? They're the ones committing the act of aggression, so I'm just, I'm just defending myself by supporting these government programs. Well, no, not, it, that line of reasoning doesn't hold up, because you're still committing an act of aggression against U.S. taxpayers that don't want to help you. Many U.S. taxpayers do not want border controls. They don't want frigging immigration checkpoints. They don't mind if someone wants to come here and pick fruit when no one else will pick it. You're committing an act of aggression against them. You favor military action of some sort in defense. It's still an act of aggression because the taxpayers are forced to fund it. Not an act of aggression if it's voluntarily funded in some way, like the Spitfire Fund in 1940. Or maybe that was 41. But anyway, average people walking up to a can and putting a tuppence in it because they, want, they, they, they think the Spitfire is a pretty plane and they like it shooting down the things that are bombing them. Now, that's, that's not an act of aggression. Anyway, you, you can see where I'm going with this, and you can take this concept and apply it to your own political positions. Ask yourself if any of those positions are authoritarian positions, pro-government, and just remind yourself that it's likely that none of the other positions you hold count. All those pro-freedom things mean nothing, in a sense. If you're carrying around that one elephant in the room, that one pro-government position. It's a cancer. Cut it out. You can do it. I have faith in you. Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, Find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.